Hi again. Um, I guess I'll start off with saying that I once again really didn't want to do this as, uh, you know, it was getting closer and closer to time to do another one of these videos. I didn't really want to do it. Uh, I still feel super uncomfortable doing it, uh, which of course makes me want to do it even less. But, you know, like I've said, I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to keep doing it anyway, even though I don't really like doing it, at least currently, because of just how it makes me feel, like with the discomfort and anxiety and so on. But uh, aside from that, uh, this video marks my third month of doing this and my third month of being on estradiol again. And my first month of being on Dutasteride, which has uh, been so much better than I had really even imagined, even though I've not gotten uh, to the point where you're supposed to be getting, you know, like noticeable results for your hair. Uh, for me, it's mostly just been the way it's affected my skin, which is... Um, been a huge benefit, honestly, um, and as I've said in other videos, no negative side effects whatsoever that I've experienced, uh, despite a lot of uh, people online kind of saying, you know, there's tons of bad side effects, don't ever take it, I've not had any bad side effects, and I'm really, really grateful for that, uh, and I'm really grateful that I gave it a chance after... Um, kind of being too afraid to even try it for two months uh, after the prescription was given to me. I kept putting it off and putting it off, but it's been great. Um, that in combination with the skincare routine I was already doing with the tretinoin and clindamycin, which did uh, work quite well. It gave me a lot of improvements, but it just wasn't enough, which was upsetting. And uh, the whole skin thing is actually uh, part of what kind of just pushed me to finally try the Dutasteride because I was just so frustrated. I mean, I wanted my hair to be better too, but doing so much work to improve my skin, um, spending over an hour each night doing a skincare routine very strictly and diligently, and not having clear skin still was just, it just was, it was breaking me, um, on top of, you know, having a really, uh, strict diet too, where I basically never have sugar, and I avoid, like, unhealthy things, just drink water and unsweetened, uh, herbal teas, like green tea and chamomile and so on, um, just, putting in so much effort and not really seeing the results that I had wanted and honestly felt like I deserved. And yeah, just super, super grateful for all the improvements I've had. Um, I did say that I would um, do updates at least once a, once a month uh, about the Dutaster ride too. And I guess this is about where my hairline is at right now. And that's what I um, really am looking for improvement in is my hairline and just overall density. Uh, that would make me really happy. Um, but, I mean, as I've read online and what tends to be uh, the consensus is that you need about six months before you start seeing hair results with Dutasteride and I mean, I'm completely okay with that. It doesn't really bother me. Um, I like to think I'm a pretty patient person. So I do look forward to that, though. Um, <laughs> not sure what to talk about now, sp uh, specifically at least. Uh, I guess um, I did upload a, a gaming video uh, last week of the uh, end of the Diablo 4 beta, I just kind of on a whim had decided to record. Uh, before going into work that day, I had a little bit of extra time and I just kind of wanted to record a little bit of uh, the build that I had been running, even though there's 
probably tons of videos already online of people doing a similar thing. I didn't, I don't know if somebody had the exact same setup as me and just in case they didn't and because I had a good time with it, I decided to record it and upload it. The video ended up being kind of poor quality because I've never done something like that before and it looked kind of like the footage was compressed, especially during uh, like a lot of action. Uh, I might not leave it up or I might, I'm not sure yet, but it was kind of cool to be able to do that. I'd like to do more of that kind of thing, uh, even though I don't have like the best hardware or really like a lot of experience or um, knowledge, I guess. Uh, about doing that sort of thing. I don't really have any video editing skills or whatever. I, it's all going to have to be something new for me to learn. Uh, I'm not opposed to doing that, but it's a little difficult with everything that's going on, uh, which I felt really overwhelmed by, honestly. Uh, lots of appointments and just uh, things that I feel obligated to do and on top of, you know, going to work. Speaking of which, I have the next week off, which is really nice personally for me because anytime I have to go somewhere, it's extremely stressful, uh, which I've talked about in older videos. But yeah, it's it just uh, it's still difficult for me. I don't like going places. I like to just be able to stay home and feel comfortable uh, and just kind of do the things that make me happy. But that's just uh, not the way it is right now. So I just, uh, you know, I live with it. I do my best. That's all you can really do, I guess. Um, gosh, there was something else that I had wanted to say, and it completely slipped my mind. But uh, I guess uh, another thing is just that, you know, I've been hanging out with friends and my younger brothers a lot online, which has kind of been a regular thing for a bit now. And that's been kind of nice. Uh, you know, we play games and watch stuff and so on. And they've gotten me into Fortnite now, which, I mean, is a kind of an old game at this point. It's about six years old um, from what I looked up. But uh, it's been pretty cool. I never really thought that I would play that game. Uh, I don't really like to play uh, shooting kind of games generally, but it's uh, it's kind of cool. Um, I like all the kind of weird and silly things that can happen. The game almost kind of feels like a fever dream with all the crossovers and emotes and stuff, which is cool. Jeez, there's still two minutes left and I don't know what else to say. Uh, I know that I, I don't have to make these videos ten minutes long, and I don't have to stop them at ten minutes either, but that's just kind of the way I want to do it for now, so that's the way I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I like consistency. Uh, even if some things being consistent stresses me out, I think that it's kind of beneficial to have some consistency. So... I guess, uh, at least for tomorrow, I see my therapist as usual. I did the homework that she assigned to me, though, sometimes, and generally, I don't always know if I'm doing it right, but I'm doing it, so that's kind of good, I guess, and on Wednesday, I start some, uh, group thing from the same place, though I can't actually attend the in-person sessions because of my job. Uh, I mean, I guess I could uh, this week, but because I can't usually, I'm just going to do the Zoom ones, so that's going to be a new thing. I'm kind of nervous and stressed about that, but we'll see how it works out. I'm thinking maybe like over the summer that uh, I'll maybe try to do the in-person ones too, because I think there's a benefit in seeing people in person over instead of over like a screen or whatever, and now we're pretty much at the time limit for the video, so thanks a bunch for whoever's watching, I really appreciate it, and I guess, uh, you know, I hope everything's good for you, and I will see you next time.
拜。